I'm here within a Power BI desktop and I want to count specific numbers. Now I, I have the numbers here, I can see, but I want to put it in a count here. So let's say, for example, I want to put in expected end. I know I have seven because you see the seven right there, right? And so what do I need to do to actually have this counter work for all of my selections? So stay tuned. We're going to jump right into it. So there's a couple ways to actually do this counter. You can set it up as a measure. And that's what we're going to talk about today is using a measure to do this count. So you can see here high end count when I select it. Do you see there high end count? And if I click on high end count, you're going to see the measure appear right here at the top of your screen. Now, if you don't aren't familiar with measures, see other videos that I have. But here you just basically do a right click and hit new measure and it's going to come up. But let's go back to that measure here. High end count. Notice here that this high end count is pretty simple syntax. The first thing there, high end count equals, that is the name of the variable, the name of the variable. Count X means that it's doing the count and filter. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Those are the expressions. And then we're going to name out the um, what the expression is going to do. So the first thing we do there, data, that's the actual data source. Then you have the name of the field. So you got to call the data source and then the name of the field. And then we're just telling it to equal high. And we're going to pull that data and push it the data risk level. And then the plus zero at the end means that um, it basically, if if there's nothing found, it's going to show at, at minimum a zero. Let me show you what that looks like real quick. So here when we're on high end count, we're fine because we're looking at everything. But if we try to, if we drill into pending, see how we get that blank right there? We don't want that. So here we can just click on that. If we just put the plus zero, that means that the condition runs, the filter runs. It doesn't see any of these. That's okay. But if it doesn't see anything, just add zero. And then you can get rid of that that other uh, nuisance there. All right. So that's basically it in a nutshell of how to set up a count. So now remember, we're counting key phrases within a column. And we could count it within any column or multiple columns as well. So you can see other videos where I do that to do other tasks. But this is once you get this basic down here, um, this is a pretty basic uh, rule set. You can also use count if you want. Um, that will work as well. The count X, usually when you put an X, it just gives you a little more capability like true false fields, for example, things of that nature. 